one, the marketing strategy. We have not, we've not done any marketing whatsoever just yet. Um, so a lot of it has been word of mouth. And what we discovered from that, and by the way, starting a startup after Twitter is so much easier than before because you have an amazing way not just to promote the product, but you get instant feedback of what people s are feeling about it and, and what, they, what they like and they dislike. Um, and you can react very quickly to that. But um, what we're trying to do now is identify the key influencers in those merchant areas and make them distribution points. So for instance, there's 5,000 taco trucks in Los Angeles. And 300 people a day go to each one of those. And 10 to 30% of those people have their own small business. And this is not just small businesses. This is individual services like teaching piano or cutting someone's grass or a hairstylist. So does it make sense to ship 200 squares to um, these taco trucks, these 5,000 taco trucks, and allow them to give this away for free or with the purchase of a taco? We, th we think it does. So, um, and then people discover, well, this is interesting, but how can I use it? And then suddenly I need to sell my MacBook Air on Craigslist and I can take the person's credit card instead of having them bring $1,200 to me um, or, or whatever I'm selling it for. So that's how we're thinking about it right now. A lot, of what, a lot of the way I think about marketing is through the product itself. So I think the marketing function, the best aspect and, and the best it can do is surface the product as much as possible. And, and to do that, we're doing this taco truck thing and we're also you know, purchasing Facebook ads and Google ads and doing the standard thing and looking into uh, um, you know, print media and uh, you know, the, the union of accountants because they might be influencers and they're trade magazines. Um, so it surfaces the product and then the product takes over. 